Hey, what is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be going over how you can create SEO optimized content using ChatGPT. Specifically, we'll be using the new GPT-4 model and I'll be showing you a couple different methods in which you can use to help you write SEO optimized blog posts that will rank on the first page of Google just using GPT-4 on ChatGPT. The great thing about this method is that you don't need to have access to a separate content optimization tool like New and Writer or Surfer SEO. You can do all of your optimization within GPT-4. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first method is actually using GPT-4 to give us the target keywords that we need to include within the article for a specific search term. The first thing I've done is prime the AI. So I've told it that you're an expert blog post writer. You specialize in writing blog posts that rank on the first page of Google. Your first task is to create a list of LSI keywords and target keywords that we need to include within our blog posts, which is how to decorate a home office so that we can rank number one on Google. So as you can see here, we have some target keywords and we have some LSI keywords that's being generated by ChatGPT. Okay, so these are the keywords in which we got back. And at the end here, it tells us to consider using various long tail keywords and synonyms to diversify our content and improve your chances of ranking higher on Google. So what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to ask um, ChatGPT to give us these long tail keywords and synonyms. Okay, so I've asked it to give me these long tail keywords and synonyms. And as you can see here, it's generating that content. Okay, so the long tail keywords and the synonyms have been completed by ChatGPT. And as you can see here, so we have a variety of different um, keywords and ideas that we can use within our article. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna ask it to create an optimized um, blog post outline that we can use that allows us to rank higher on Google. So for this prompt, I've asked it to use the LSI keywords, the target keywords, and the long tail keywords and the synonyms to create an SEO optimized blog post heading, include H1 to H3 headings that would increase the likeness of ranking and optimizing this blog post. And I've also told it to use Markdown format, which allows it to just be formatted a lot better so that I can just copy this and paste this over to my WordPress site. So as you can see, it um, is doing exactly as I mentioned, and we are getting some nice headings here, H1s, um, H2s, and H3s. Okay, so our outline has been completed. As you can see here, we got about one, two, three, four, five H1s, and we got a bunch of H2s that we can use. So unleashing your creativity with your home office decor, choosing the perfect home office furniture, home office lighting, home office lighting and accessories, maximizing home office organization, adapting your home office for remote work and so on. So a pretty decent outline for sure. So let's now actually go ahead and ask it to complete writing the blog post. And we're gonna just copy some of the LSI keywords and the target keywords so that it's remembering to include these keywords within the article. Okay, so now that we've generated the outline, I've asked it to write an SEO optimized blog post using the blog post outline and use the target keywords, the LSI keywords, the long tail keywords and the synonyms. And I've pasted in all of those keywords at the bottom here, just so that it's remembering um, that um, input. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and click enter and I've told it to include tables, charts, and always write in markdown and aim for 1500 words plus. So the reason why I really like GPT-4 is because it has a longer threshold of information that it can understand and remember. So you have about 25,000 words that um, GPT-4 understands. So it allows you to be able to have longer prompts so that you can really um, include all of the most important information that you need just to make sure that the AI is remembering what needs to be included within that content. So as you can see here, um, we're getting back a nice blog post that's being generated. It's including all of our steps that we mentioned, and it's also including all of the target keywords that we mentioned. So let's give it some time to complete this article and then I'll be testing to see how optimized this is within New and Writer. Okay, so the content has been finished generating um, by GPT-4, so let's actually see how long this content was. Okay, so the content is about 874 words, a little bit shorter than I would like it to be, but let's go ahead and see how optimized this is just by using this method on GPT-4. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this content over and I'm gonna paste it in here and um, let's see what um, optimization score we get right off the bat. Okay, so 38, not bad by any means. Now let's actually go ahead and update our meta description on uh, New and Writer. So I'm just gonna ask ChatGPT to create a meta description and a title tag for this specific article. Okay, so this is the meta description that we get back here. So let's head over to New and Writer and we're gonna update our meta description and we're also going to use the title tag that we got back from GPT-4. Okay, so now you can see a preview of that. Um, you also get some ideas of things in which we can include, but let's just go ahead and keep it as is. And as you can see, now we have a 50 um, score. So 
if we added into more um, words, if we added in two images, I'm sure we can get that to about a 60 and above. But as you can see, this method works pretty well. Um, we were in able to include a lot of the keywords that we needed to include within the article. As you can see, we got a decent amount of greens there. In terms of headers, we also were able to do that as well. Of course, we weren't able to get every single thing, but just from using GPT-4, we were able to get some pretty, um, a pretty high score in terms of our optimization. A quick way to get some more content for your article is just head over back to ChatGPT, and you can ask it to create a FAQ for the article that you just generated. And as you can see here, um, GPT-4 has generated nine unique FAQs that you can copy and paste over into your content. So if you're looking to just get some more words in there, you can definitely go ahead and do that. And then you can make that into your H3s and format it a little bit nicer. And then you should be able to get a boost within your content editor score. If you are using New End Writer, you can click on the content editor and you'll be able to see your overall content score you can see where you're falling short and where you can make improvements so if you want to make any improvements you can quickly go ahead and get a breakdown to see where you need to improve your um, article but as you can see just by using gpt4 we were able to get a 50 um, mark in terms of content optimization um, right now the competitor's best is about 49 so we are able to get a little bit over that threshold but of course um, by adding in some more content or adding in some more specific keywords we would definitely be able to get this um, a little bit higher but i just wanted to show you guys a quick trick that you can use if you don't have access to a content optimization tool such as surfer seo or new and writer you can do all of your keyword research and your content optimization in GPT-4. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.